low self-esteem uh, low self-confidence how to gain self-esteem why some people are more confident than others uh, this is what we're gonna talk about hi guys my name is Lena Semenek and this is psychology of happiness where happiness is the purpose of life today I will share with you the reasons why some people feel less confident than others and how to fix it so the first understanding about who we are we get from our mothers and then fathers specifically mothers first why because when uh, a baby is crying uh, mother comes to the baby and baby cannot understand words baby cannot understand reasonings baby can read only emotions or face expressions so when mommy is looking at the baby and if she's smiling if she's uh, using the gentle voice the nice intonation then baby is thinking that I am okay everything is fine I am great my mother is smiling of course this is not what the baby thinks it's like subconsciously the information that we get from the parents and when a baby is crying it's very important for mother to understand that uh, the reason why the baby is crying uh, maybe the baby is crying because he or she is hungry maybe baby is crying because she just want a mother to hold her maybe she just want to feel the mother's body maybe baby is crying because he or she is uh, cold and you just need to put like small blankets so the baby can feel warmer maybe maybe baby uh, is feeling sick so there are a lot of different reasons and in most cases a good mother can understand the reason why the baby is crying but of course it's not possible to know every time uh, about every little baby's desire and even a good mother can't predict can understand every time what's happening with the baby and the mother might be tired herself she might feel stressed she might be busy with other kids uh, did not get enough sleep and she might have some misunderstanding argument conflicts with her friend with her co-workers you know there are so many reasons uh, why mother cannot be happy and uh, gentle and nice and loving 24 7. so every time when baby is crying and mother is coming to him or to her and if it looks like this like what's wrong what do you want why are you crying baby can read the emotions and baby will think that i am causing those emotions i am the reason why my mother is not um, happy why my mother is angry why my mother is not feeling relaxed so baby uh, subconsciously gets the information that something wrong with me so something wrong with me i'm not good enough i did something wrong i caused the negative emotions when the baby is growing uh, at some point uh, parents uh, start teaching the baby how to behave well and nice within the society and sometimes when the baby is screaming mother can say like stop screaming don't embarrass me one of the main tasks of parenting is to teach a child how to separate his or her emotions so for example if the child is screaming uh, a mother or father is supposed to say you are screaming because you are angry or you are screaming because you are tired you are mad because another child took your toys you are um, screaming because uh, you hurt yourself and a lot of times instead of explaining parents say something like this stop screaming uh, don't yell this is not nice are you a good girl or a stupid girl um, girls are not supposed to act like this boys are not supposed to cry and a little boy or a little girl is confused so she or he does not know what's happening inside of him or her and parents are saying you are bad your behavior is bad and you are bad so again the child is learning that something is wrong with him or with her so i'm making my mother my father my grandparents 
mad. I am causing the destruction. So something is wrong with me. I'm not perfect. I'm not good enough. And this is where your low self-esteem came from. Uh, for years, uh, you've been learning that every time when you want to express yourself, every time when you feel big emotions, strong feelings, you are not allowing to express them. You don't know what those feelings are. You cannot separate them. You uh, cannot understand why you behave in this way or that way because no one explained to you. And at the end, you have a low self-esteem. Uh, a lot of times parents uh, do this not because they're bad parents or not because they don't love their children. They do. They truly love their children. And that's why uh, parents are teaching them how to be polite, how to act normal, how to be respected by society. They want you to be a nice person. They want you to be respectful. They don't want to raise a selfish kid. Or maybe they just did not learn it from their childhood and they're not explaining to you what's happening with you. They are just stopping your behavior so you're not gonna scream and be angry and maybe fight with others in the future. But uh, at the same time, because you don't know how to understand your feelings, you are learning that your behavior is bad and you are a bad person, you did something wrong and you don't have a right to express yourself, like basically you don't have the right to scream, to be angry, to express your emotions, your feelings and you don't know what to do with all those feelings. So at the end your self-esteem is low and your self-confidence is low because you don't know what's going to happen if all those feelings will come to you. And when you want to achieve your goal or when you want to do something new, to experience something new in your life, of course, it's going to bring a lot of emotions. And if you don't know how to deal with those emotions, then you feel uh, that you can do it, that you can achieve it. The message that we received from our parents is so deep, is so strong, so it's almost impossible to override it. And a lot of motivational speakers, they teach you about positive thinking, about uh, affirmations, about meditation, that you should open your heart and uh, forgive everybody and allow your heart uh, to love people around you. But unfortunately, those things don't work. 99% uh, it's not going to help with your low self-esteem or low self-confidence. Uh, it's it even going to be worse because if you are using affirmation, if you are meditating and thinking that uh, you are a confident uh, person, the first failure in your life and the inner voice is going to tell you, see, I knew it. I knew that it's going to happen. Because the message uh, the re that you received within years from your childhood is extremely strong. And it's very hard for you just to ignore it. Like kind of, you know, whatever my parents were saying, I'm going to ignore it. And I will pretend, I will try to brainwash myself that I am a confident person. Uh, usually, after positive thinking or after using affirmations, people feel even worse. They, their self-esteem even lower than it was before. So, what to do? How to, how to fix it? How to gain your self-esteem back? You should go back to the beginning. So, you have to become like a mother or a parent for yourself. Uh, step number one. Every time when you feel that your emotions are raising, when you feel some strong feelings, you should ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? So uh, instead of uh, trying to ignore your feelings and pretend that you are confident, you should face your feelings. You should ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? Am I mad? Am I angry? Am I sad? Am I exhausted? 
what am I feeling right now? So you have to name the emotion, name your feelings. Step number two is to ask yourself, why am I feeling it? Uh, what was the cause for that feeling? What was the trigger? Am I mad because uh, uh, I am hungry or am I mad because uh, my boss disrespected me today at work? Am I angry and argumenting with different people around me because I'm a bad person or maybe I am uh, behaving this way because I did not sleep enough for the last three days. So you have to ask yourself two extremely important questions. What am I feeling right now and why am I feeling it? When you were a child, your mother was responsible for your feelings, for your emotions. And she, together with the father and with the other close relatives, were supposed to teach you how to identify your feelings, how to see uh, why do you feel those feelings but right now you are not a child anymore this is your life this is your responsibility and only you can change it only you can improve your self-confidence and self-esteem step number three is to find a life coach a mentor a psychologist uh, is to find a group uh, is to attend a self-improvement workshop self-development seminars why? Because yes, you can do it yourself, but with the group, with the professional person, it's going to be much faster and the professional person will help you to connect with yourself on a deep, deep level. So this is your life. This is your choice. And just remember, if you don't take actions, your life won't change. So make a decision. Uh, like this video, subscribe so you won't miss anything new, share this video and thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.